we have heard in the last hour that the British Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, 55 years old, who's been in self-isolation for 10 days now, suffering from COVID-19, having tested positive 10 days ago for COVID-19, has been admitted tonight to a London hospital, we believe a National Health Service at Central London Hospital. We don't know which one. And we are told by uh, 10 Downing Street, his official resident spokesman, uh, that this is a precautionary measure. It is not, repeat, not an emergency admission. But there is no doubt that in his video, uh, short video, uh, to the public that he tweeted out on Friday, he looked... Uh, by all intents, for all intents and purposes, quite uh, not very well, and he sounded pretty breathless. He didn't sound his normal self. Now, we are being uh, repeatedly told that this is a precautionary reason, but, of course, we will watch out to see whether he stays, remains in hospital tonight. We already know that a very uh, important meeting tomorrow morning will be chaired by the man who, if indeed Boris Johnson were not able uh, to... Uh, in fact, carry out his duties as prime minister, would replace him, Dominic Raab, the foreign secretary. Uh, and we are assured by 10 Downing Street that uh, Mr Johnson uh, is, remains in charge of government, is uh, in contact with ministers. But it has to be said, there has been widespread and repeated criticism here about the fact that in parliament, which is only shortly now in recess, MPs were for far too long in this pandemic close together. I should remind everyone that the health secretary, Matt Hancock, who had been doing days before a, a, a daily briefing, as the government now does, he has suffered mild symptoms, is now better, but had to be in self-isolation uh, for seven days, that Prince Charles himself, the eldest uh, son uh, of the Queen, uh, has also suffered, we understand, mild symptoms from COVID-19 and is recovering, uh, and that some other MPs have done that. I'll give you the latest death toll uh, for uh, the United Kingdom, uh, which jumped yesterday. So the UK death toll, as it stands, is 4,934, uh, and that was up by 621 patients. But the Prime Minister admitted for tests as a precautionary measure. We await more news.